everybody, a very good morning. The most, or one of the most eagerly awaited launches of the year is upon us. A very good morning, welcome to our show. I'm Dave Bradford and here launching the latest Carnation Crafts collection for you. Bursting with joy is incredible. We've then, got, I love this. It's so breath, look at the artwork on that. That is something else, isn't it? That ribbon is extraordinary. Seasonal florals here, the most awaited. Probably this little chap here. And you have got your frosted panels here for the um, your corners. And that, my friends, is your gifted Christmas collection. And very stunning it is too. Let me just show you quickly some finished cards. Tina Whitemore has done this one. There is Pablo in the middle of the diamond aperture. This is actually satin ribbon being threaded through the actual apertures in that corner. Uh, she's done a fantastic job of putting in the berries and the holly. And you put some um, some LED lights on there. These are not part of the main bundle. These are the frost panel card shape is incredibly clever. This one, you can just see if I grab my, where's my pokey? If I grab this pokey and I just pull that, can you see how that's coming away there? Mm -hmm. And then it comes away at the other side as well. And then it comes away in the midpoint there. That allows us to stretch that tree. So this is your debossing plate and man alive, is that pretty? I've used that debossing plate here. So you look at that. That's not Christmas. That's any time. It's so beautiful. It's just it's such really a deep, stunning. Deep boss, isn't mm. it? Just think of all the different ways you can do that. So I'm just going to place this onto here. Now I love the fact that when it sits there, it sits forward. It sits proud. It gives that shadow. It looks stunning. So we were talking about those beautiful ribbon points, and this is where I'm going to bring this in, and I'm going to start using it. You can see him looking over there to those floral. I love this one. Isn't it pretty? I love that card. There's something about that card. It's just cute, isn't it? Really sweet. Another gorgeous example of using that piece that comes with the card shape. So we're using an eight by eight. So the reason that I'm doing, you can see I've cut those to exactly the same size. So I've measured out the big square, which is from Bursting for Joy, and I have placed the same size on the gold underneath it. Take the stem and I take the star and I pull, can you see? how as we go through I can separate and I can stretch and I can pull up. If you frame those out a little further it would just fan a little more. Look at that. That's a right corker that is. So if I place this down here and place this one here but place that on and I think that is extraordinary. So we're going to have a look at the card shape. Now, like I say, this has actually sold out. We are now on extended delivery. Or I can use that. I love that, though. I think that's so pretty. And that's what I'm going to do. And for this, as it stands, I'm just going to pull these back. It is so happy with his little tree. And I wanted to keep it smaller this time because I want to... I want to use the idea of him being like a teddy bear and looking at that small tree. To take these and to push them closed. So my recipient gets to open the present when they get it home. But if you're going to curl those papers, you would need to curl them first. But look at that. He's so happy in that scene. Right, now I've got that stuck down and everything is in place, I can now decide whether I want to have that portrait or landscape. And for this one, I actually want it to be landscape. I'm facing these downwards, the curvature is going down. It's a mirrored vignette, so I could have it facing up, but I like it facing down. Prop his little ears thither. Little feet standing. And he's just offering, he's proffering that little present to the rabbit. Super cute. Take care till then, and I'll see you later. Bye. 